Hi everybody, welcome to video three of the WordPress installation series. In this video, I'm going to show you how and where to buy a hosting account. When it comes to hosting, you have a lot of choices. There are a lot of hosting providers out there. And really, for a simple WordPress site, you just need entry-level hosting. You don't need to go very expensive. Uh, $5 a month is probably the most that you need right now. If you find that you need more in the future, once you start getting more traffic, you can always upgrade your hosting account to a more expensive one. But until then, there's no point in spending the extra money up front for that. A hosting account, a hosting provider I've used for over seven years now and have had no problems with is Bluehost. And I highly recommend them. You don't have to use them. You can use whoever you want. But I know and use Bluehost, so I'm comfortable recommending their services. And once you're here, you go over to the, the products panel. This may have changed. They change this quite a bit as well. So this may change when you're watching this. But all you need is regular shared hosting. They do have WordPress hosting. That's more expensive. There isn't actually a huge benefit to using it because all the same systems run on the shared hosting. So for now, if you want to save a bit of money up front, use the shared hosting. If you're willing to pay a little extra, you can go right to the WordPress hosting, or even if you anticipate getting a lot of traffic very quickly, you can do dedicated hosting, which means that you actually have your own server space or your own dedicated server. The shared hosting is you have, uh, there, there's a server that contains a whole bunch of different hosting accounts. So there could be a hundred websites running off that one server Dedicated hosting, just your website is on there. And so you can use all the server resources and you're gonna need that if you get really high traffic volumes. But just starting out, shared hosting is more than good enough. The $4.99 or $4.95 per month plan is more than good enough. It lets you upload or use unlimited domains, unlimited storage, unlimited websites, unlimited email accounts. You don't need anything else. That's that's perfect. So for five bucks a month, you can get started right away. So when you're ready, click on the get started link. And you can either type in the domain you want. You can buy it through Bluehost as well instead of GoDaddy. It, it's a little more expensive, but you can buy a domain name right through here. Or you type in, I have a domain name. So you type in the one that you just bought I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna type in the one I was going to buy, just so I can walk you through this. So type in your domain name, click on the next button, and then you fill in this form, just the basic order form. You pick your account plan. You can either, they give you all kinds of options to prepay. These first three are the ones that we just saw. If you prepay for 36 months or three years, you get the $4.95 a month deal. If you go year by year, you have to pay $7 a month. It's not a big deal, not a big difference. Um, it's the same account, just you get a discount for buying more in advance. Search engine jumpstart, they help you a little bit with your SEO. If you click on the more information link, you can see the company Solo SEO helps you with rapid indexing, comparative analysis, yada, yada, yada. If you want that, you can use it. If you don't, you don't need it. Uh, SEO is pretty basic. The on-site stuff that they're doing here is pretty basic, so there's you don't really need that. But if you want to have it, go ahead and get it. I recommend the site backup. It's only $1.67 a month here. It might be a little different price for you. But that backs up your website. I can show you all kinds of manual ways to do it and even automatic ways to back up the WordPress site. But if you're backing it up right on the server, that's even better. And even better is having multiple different backups. Just in case one of them fails, you have another backup. SiteLock Domain Security allows you to have a little badge on your site, the SiteLock badge. That's good for social proof. It increases uh, trust of your customers. When they come to your site, they see a badge like that. If they see a PayPal badge, VeriSign, Authorize.net, SiteLock, uh, HackerProof, all, all those kinds of badges, they increase consumer confidence on your site. And rarely any of them are free. 
less than two dollars a month is a really good deal to have a badge which will increase your your customer trust but it's up to you whether you want it or not then you go ahead and fill in your credit card information you can read the terms of service and all these policies if you want if you have all week you can go ahead and do that otherwise just check the box click on next and then it will take you to a receipt page you will then receive an email two different emails you will receive a welcome email with your account login information and your billing information and your receipt and you'll receive an email that will have a link that lets you log in to your hosting account and when you get that link you click on it and you just use the sign-in credentials that are given to you and I'll show you what happens when you log in the link will go to this page You'll enter your information, you'll click the login button. And this is the back end of your hosting account. It's called a cPanel. A lot of hosts use the cPanel setup, so they're all very similar. And this is where you do all of your back end server maintenance type of stuff. That about wraps it up for this video. In the next video, video four, I'm gonna show you how to set up the domain name servers. And I'll tell you all about what that means in the next video. I'll see you there. What you